Welcome back, welcome back. Final part of this evening's Premier League tonight. Thanks for being with us. As always, use the hashtag PL tonight to join in the conversation. We appreciate all of your comments so far. Uh, Dan says, King strikes again. That's his three-word match report. Alan, Puel must go. What? <laughs> well, a Saints fan. They're like ninth or something in the league. What? The really? What is going on? They made the cup final. Weird. Um, welcome to football. Uh, Rob says, Billich out now. Continuing the theme of managers going. Um, Sean, nee, Sean says, I'll take that. He's a West Ham fan. And Hayes VG, uh, no goals again. Another West Ham fan. And Daniel Yates, just to make it a trio. Mark Hughes out. There you go. Uh, the fans are feeling in a generous mood today, aren't they? Right, it's now time to talk about which one player would you love your club to sign for next season. They'll have their say in a moment. But first, here's you guys. I'd like Liverpool to sign Van Dijk from Southampton this summer because I believe we need a real strong centre half, someone we can rely on to play for Liverpool week in, week out, someone who can win headers for us in the box, someone who can make us better on set pieces as well because that's been a big problem for Liverpool. I'd love to see Spurs sign Zaha this summer. Uh, we tried to sign him before but I think he's gone up a level this season. If Everton want to kick on and go to that next level they need to sign a lad called Gilfie Sigerson, Swansea's best player this season, dead ball specialist, can strike the ball with his left or right boot, gets goals, assists galore. One player that Watford should sign in the summer, well, it's no secret that we're on the lookout for another goalkeeper as Jorelio Gomez is getting on a bit. So one player I think we should sign is Sunderland number one, Jordan Pickford. This is summer at Burnley Football Club have to concentrate on a striker. We need to get somebody in who can score a few more goals when we've managed this campaign. Top of my shopping list is Watford's Troy Deeney. Easy, Antoine Griezmann. United have really lacked finishing in the final third this season. We've created a host of chances but really failed to score goals, leaving us with so many boring nil-nil draws at Old Trafford. That's been a real problem. Right, uh, they're talking about it. It's got them going. Hopefully it has you at home as well. Um, I'm interested there, um, that chat about Spurs, Wilfred Zaha. Um, mm. Surely we've spoken about our admiration <coughs> for what's happening at Tottenham. If Wilfred is seeing the same thing as a football player, despite the long contract, despite how much Palace want to keep him, mm. you'd want to go and join that if Spurs want yes. you, wouldn't you? Yes, you do, yeah. And that's the problem what I think Steve Parrish and Palace fans will have to deal with because at the end of the day, the Tottenham fans would want him there if he can... Um, get that consistency, what we're seeing a lot more this season, he would be a major asset to How Spurs. How much would he cost? It's 30 odd million, isn't he? 30, yeah. yeah. He's got to think of about how poorly he did when he went to a big club last time. I think he, that was a wild on Martin. I think that he's somewhere else now. Willis. I really do think he's somewhere but else. But I, I don't think that. If, I think if you were a manager, you had a kid that, that, that gifted, that quick, that powerful 6 1 that can score goals and create him. I don't think the manager got the best out of the kid. No I way. think Pochettino will get the best out of him. Yeah, well, he wants him, doesn't he? You mm. want to go and play for a manager that loves you. Alex probably. Ferguson's last signing wasn't healthy for the lad that he doesn't, wasn't there to help him. Doesn't Pochettino work brilliantly for Zaha? Zaha worked really well for Spurs yeah. and 30-odd million quid worked really well for Palace. I mean, it, it allows them to reinvest as well. Sam, it, it, we know what he's like in the transfer market, so he straight away put that money to good use. Yeah. Um, I mean, Palace fans will hate us selling him on this show, but sometimes a no. deal works for everyone. No, but that, you, you, they yeah, said, of course. You heard the, the, the Tottenham fan talking about they'd like to get Zaha. If Zaha gets that consistent, like I said, he would be phenomenal there. OK. What's the deal with Man United? Do they need to sell to buy? Jose's <clears> already <throat> said, didn't he, at the start of the season, your mate, Schweinsteiger, was left out of the squad, and Jose said, I want 20 players to work with. I feel sorry for him. He's not made the cut. That's a big squad at United now. Well, look, he sold Schneider and then sold Depay. I mean, they probably have what? They could probably easily sell four or five players and bring yeah. in 80 million. So on top of probably the 100 at least that they'll spend 150. You know, I think you have to look at what you have and what you desperately need. You know, I think they need a, like a Dybala type player. Everybody talks about mm -hmm. Griezmann. I think Griezmann would be terrific. But I think Dybala, you know, a little bit younger. I think he's going to be a superstar if he isn't already. I think he would be magnificent. That star power that Ibra bought... I think Dybala could bring that as well. Uh, Glenn here says, John Terry to Man United. He's worked with Jose before. He's exactly what we need. Ben's over backwards for everyone around him to help. What do you think? John Terry no, to Man United. No, Terry, doing that, you need more like a Van Dyke type. You need people 25 in the prime. John Terry, what, he's, he's 35? No, you need, you need the next John Terry. You need, you need Van Dyke or You could, you could like get away with buying Eber at that age as a forward with what, how Eber has been. But John Terry at this stage of his career going to Manchester United, would, I think that would be... It it's a good, a good job move. they've had as many players as they've had, isn't it, Manchester United, with a number of injuries. Yeah. There's one or two. It's been always been like freshers' week, mm. isn't it? You know, where they, everybody on trial, the amount of players that have come in, Martial wasn't fancied, and now he's suddenly the flavour of the month. Rashford wasn't given an opportunity. So many of the guys doing well now weren't even thought about at the start of the season. Yeah. And that tells me, does Mourinho didn't really know what he had 
really under the bonnet at that club, but they need strikers. Whenever you went to Manchester United, you looked at the bench back in the day, they had York, didn't they? Yeah. Sheringham, Cole. Or Cole, all manner so of strikers. Strong. You can't go... Now, Ibrahimovic is injured. That may well force them now into to spend yeah. money in that department. Arsenal. Who should they buy and why? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, 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 do, I still believe we need a, a, a major striker, but I would say Deli Ali just to annoy <laughs> them lot across the road. But, um, I, I'd, I'd, I'd probably... I like... Um, Are you joking? I love, Rob, I love Lewandowski or, or Mbappe. Anyway. Now, let's talk Deli Ali. Why Deli Ali? Because... Just I, to wind up the Spurs. Because I think from midfield, um, the way... from In that position what he plays, to go forward as well and help score those goals and score in big games. You know, if he's got the right team around him, he's just going to be magnificent. Has to be a proven goal scorer for Arsenal in a midfield player. Name Lukaku? Well, we talked about Mbappe, didn't we? And everybody's chasing him. He will be millions. But I, I do feel Lewandowski is, is, yeah. the, is the ultimate challenge and he would come into that league. He's really well equipped to deal with the physicality and the, the goals he scores. He's just an immense striker. Would he leave Bayern for Arsenal? No chance. Ars <laughs> Arsenal, well, that's not even a realistic well, the conversation. The Bayern story's done now, no? That's yeah, not even a realistic said, If you could sign someone, who would you sign? No, I'm saying Lewandowski? realistic. Arsenal need a right winger. It's not, it's not realistic we're going to sign Dele Alli, is it? No, no, but I'm saying Dembele at Dortmund, 19-year-old kid, yeah. one of the best players in the Bundesliga, superstar potential. He's what Arsenal need. I'm amazed that they haven't gone and tried okay. to stand up. I've got loads on here, so I'm going to run through them. I just need a big yes or no whether you agree with these people. Tom, Arsenal should sign Lacazette. <sighs> it's kind of gone off the board a bit. I'm not sure. I'd take him, yeah. He's he is good, okay. though. Like Aman, Idrissa Gay from Everton to Arsenal. Mm, very good no. player. No, no. OK. Uh, Henry Widgeray, Liverpool should sign Joe Hart. Uh, Liverpool should yeah. sign Pickford. OK. Uh, yeah, I'd go pick you think so? OK. Uh, Robert Hills, as a Saints fan, I'd love Sigurdsson. That's a good one, actually. If Swansea go down, Sigurdsson can have his pick of the Premier League. I mean, not, maybe not the top two or three teams. He'd be, be good, for, a lot of any, be good him, yeah. for probably anyone. I think uh, he's one of he's those a special player. A lot of teams. Sigurdsson. OK. I need more volume from you lot. Uh, Chelsea should sign Lukaku for their Champions League hopes. Of course, yeah. That's not more volume. He's not going to get a uh, game, though, is he? Mark Ooh. Barrett. Costa will play. Yeah, but Costa's going to go. We don't know that, do we? Yeah, but I think he will. They're not going to sign Costa and Lukaku. Let's do this after. <laughs> go on, go on, sorry. Everton need a top quality centre half like Van Dijk, says Mark Barrett. Yeah, but he's out of the category. They need he's somebody else. Van Dijk's going to go to a big team. Okay. Van Dijk could play for Barca Real. Uh, Johnny, a Newcastle fan. Michael Carrick, out of contract, local boy experience, culture, and quality. That'd be a good signing for Newcastle going back home, yeah. Okay, and finally, Lewis Brown, Man City should sign Carl Walker. Oh, that's a great nice. response, Martin. That's well, what we got you in not, for. It's, not it's those golden moments of television. It's not realistic. But I was just thinking about Yaya Toure, thinking about players that contracts are up. Why not go to Arsenal? Should have bought him 10, 10 15 years ago, but no, take him yeah. now. I don't think so, Mark. No, I, I'm Is not he not sure. better than what's there now? At this point, I'd love to this talk stage, about... At this stage, I don't think Yaya's the, the, the way forward. All right, we've, got, we've got to go, we've got to go. Sadly, we can no, talk for another hour. Seriously. I'm going to just ignore them and tell you what's still to come on BT Sport before long. <laughs> Up next, the Cubs against the Red Sox. You can see um, Chavez against Porto. Premier League today, tomorrow morning from 11am. And Man U Swansea from 11.30. You're so ill-disciplined, but I love all three of you. Um, as you always, we're going to leave you with a fan. And this is West Ham fan. Say goodbye. Are you serious? Are you serious?